Hey Ty, what's um what's the greatest part about the atmosphere when you you're here competing at Kona? Uh, I mean the atmosphere itself is probably the the, the the greatest part about the race. One particular, I mean the finish line. Obviously, when you hit that last corner, you got 100 meters to go. Uh, the crowd's amazing. People are putting their hands out. Uh, normally, someone my parents have a flag. One year, I stopped and hugged my mom. Um, I definitely say that the banyan tree with the 100, 100, 200 meters to go. The last corner is where you, you get super excited because generally, you know, you're going to make it. Um, you still got to get across the line, but you're going to make it. Um, I, for a lot of people, I think it does. For me, my race strategy is to follow. Um, the swim's super hard. I redline the swim and I redline the bike, and I'm going way above my threshold. But I train for that. Um, so my strategy is to follow and not have a strategy and let other people dictate it to me. Um, and as long as I've done the training, then I, I know no one's physically going to be able to sit at 600 watts for five minutes or well, yeah, five or 25 minutes. Um, I prepare myself for anything and then I just follow and let other people dictate. So my strategy is what most people would say is letting it go and not having a strategy. But if you train for that strategy, it is a strategy, um, if that makes sense. Yeah, I mean the currents change every day, um, but yeah, the swim's fast and, and it's hard. Um, it, it, it is what it is, we all know what the swim's like before the race um, and we all practice on the course. Uh, but yeah, it's a great, it's a great swim. I think everyone loves it. Like salt water, it's, it's pretty buoyant. Um, some years it, it has a bit of a swell, but uh, most years it's pretty calm early in the morning, and uh, you're not looking at the fish, uh, or not in the pro race at least, um, or not myself because I'm uh, I really have to work at the swim to go to go fast and hang with those top boys. But it's it's a great course. You couldn't couldn't really ask for anything better, which is the whole course in general. The history of Hawaii, um, the fact it's a world champs, and the course and how beautiful it is is what makes it special. Yeah, I mean, Hawaii zone three, and so because it's 79 degrees, we're not using wetsuits, we're using speed suits. Um, and they are faster. Like a lot of people are like, oh, do they really make much of a difference? They do make a difference, and that's why everyone's using them. Um, and I find them enjoyable because you don't have the sleeves on. Um, it's like a great mix between. Uh, between a wetsuit and then just normal swimmers. The, the speed suits are nice. Um, I enjoy racing in them. Uh, some people get them for training for their speed days. But uh, yeah, I really like the speed suits. Tyler, here's our last question. How much time do you actually take off after a, a race like Kona and you know, time to recharge? So any Ironman, I give myself two weeks. Um, and Kona's pretty much no different. Um, I've actually generally had more rest in Tacona because it's a bigger race. Um, yeah, two weeks, uh, and then you want to get back at it. I mean, we love what we do, and that's part of the reason we do it. Mm -hmm.